If there's one thing that seems pretty clear when flicking through viral videos of snakes, it's that most people haven't got a clue about what to do when they come face to face with one. Nope ropes, danger noodles, whatever you want to call them, there are tons living down under. Australia is home to around 140 different species of snakes. While some are pretty harmless, others are some of the most venomous on the planet. I caught up with Dean, a professional snake catcher, to get a closer look at some iconic Aussie snakes and find out exactly what to do if you see a snake in the wild or worst case, get bitten. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got heaps of other interesting vids to check out, whether you want to learn about conspiracy theories or becoming a YouTuber. So Dean, what have we got here? We have a red-bellied black snake. These guys are found near water. Uh, they are absolutely great swimmers and they can hold their breath for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Yep, these guys love sunshine and water, just like a lot of Aussies. And while they can be dangerous, like many snakes, they'll only bite if they're feeling threatened and interfered with. They're actually quite shy and much more likely to freeze or slither away if they spot one of us scary humans. Next, Dean introduced me to his tiger snake and its doppelganger. Quite a few people have mistakenly gone to pick up a blue tongue lizard and found one of these guys at the end of their fingers. And is that a problem? Are these ones quite dangerous? Uh, yes, they are considered the fourth most venomous snake in the world. Oh my goodness. Mm. So definitely not somewhere you want to be putting your fingers close to. <laughs> definitely not. He also showed me this big guy. So this is the mulga or the king brown. He is our most widespread, most distributed venomous snake in Australia. What he lacks in potency with venom, he makes up for in volume. He has an absolute plethora of toxins in his venom. So despite being called the King Brown, he's actually part of the black snake family. So he's actually related to the red belly black snake. He's not a true brown snake at all. When I say he's big, I mean it. These guys can grow up to two and a half metres long. So what if you've stumbled across one and you're way too close? So in that situation, when they're very close to your feet, the uh, best thing you can actually do is stand still. Um, it's your movement that's going to cause them to feel threatened. What about trying to avoid snakes completely when you're out and about this summer? Uh, it's definitely uh, a good idea to stick to your paths and stay away from long grass. Also avoid going and picking up or turning over rocks and big logs and things like that because that's where the snakes like to, like to hide out during the day. Try to stomp a bit if you're out bushwalking so they can feel the vibrations of you coming and move away. And definitely don't do this. Or this. Oh, I got him. Or this. Sometimes you do your best to avoid bad situations, but they happen anyway. So what should you do if you get bitten by a snake? Dean says it's a good idea to carry a compression bandage. We will just slowly work our way up the limb. If you or someone you're with gets bitten by a snake, call an ambulance immediately. Work your way up the bitten limb with a bandage, like this. Or if you don't have one, use some other stretchy fabric, like stockings or torn up t-shirts. Keep the bitten person nice and still until medical help arrives. That'll help slow down the spread of venom in the body. It's important not to wash the bite so that medical workers can figure out if it was venomous and if so, which anti-venom to use. It's also important not to try to suck out the venom and not to tourniquet the limb. Finally, what should you do if a snake turns up in your house or backyard? If you do find one of these guys, probably best just to call a snake catcher and have them come and catch it and relocate it for you. Nice. So remember to leave these guys alone this summer and hopefully they'll leave you alone too. If you want to learn more about other dangerous animals like these and these, make sure you hit subscribe.